That's how I know you a character. When you're doing genuine shit from the heart, you don't put it on camera. Why would I knock you helping the homeless? Give the homeless some help. I hope you keep donating to the homeless until you homeless yourself. You fucking idiot. Shout out to all my fans out there. Everybody getting it in. Everybody listening, tuning in to Battle Rap. Everybody getting it in. Shout out to everybody. Like I said, let me just go fix that. Make my little lighting a little bit better. Anyway, nevertheless, let me get right to it. You know I don't play no games. ARP, salute to Rip Breed, ARP and the team. Because he admitted, he acknowledged that smacks the biggest. So been, smacks been putting me in work for 10 years, over a decade. And he also acknowledged that I'm um, smacks the best. But what he did say, what I liked is this. He said, I'm got a good business. He has a good business model. Right? And he also stated that it's the first entity to ever, the first battle rap entity to ever challenge Smack publicly. And that's a good thing. It's her for the long haul. So salute to Ribbreed and ARP. Even though Smack's having an event on the 29th on the same day as ARP, ARP is welcoming the challenge. They said it's healthy for hip hop, which it is. So a lot of you think, oh, smack through a wrench in a, in Ribbreed's view. No, Ribbreed is looking forward to this because it's competition. He said it's healthy for the culture. So and it's got a good business model. So he's looking long term. He's thinking long term. But what else stood out to me? What um ARP said is that. It's not going to disrespect nobody, another business entity, no. But as far as being competitive, yes. So it's up for the challenge. Now, there's something else I want to talk about too, like I want to touch on Tay Rock. Now, it's been through a lot of things. You know what I mean? The transactional rumors. He had his chain taken. Even before that, you know, it's been on, in a, almost in a lot of fights. And, you know, it's, it's been at the forefront a lot here lately, especially in 2019, so it's been up against a lot. Now, with the latest event of him having his chain taken, like, a lot of, some people think that he'll be a liability going up against another battle rapper because they could use that as an angle. But what I'm saying is this, my, 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 my view of this is this, right? Tay Rock's getting come back spitting flames. He knows he can't miss a beat. It's got too much going against him for him to come back and miss a beat. Right? And his dangerous man is angry. I saw how he snapped on bad news in that one round. His dangerous man is angry. And this is something else you gotta know about Tay Rock, man. He's got a skill set that I didn't know that he had. But anyway, make a long story short, Retro Rob was doing a little blow up. You know, because see this man came up, you know, he's talking about punches, punchline artists. And he mentioned, Retro Roy must have mentioned, be magic as a good punchline. And he said, you know, conceited, that's not really a good puncher, right? But a mom might say, okay, let me go check B magic. So when they searched him, B magic's name, B magic versus Taylor, they said, I'm going to look at this, right? So I checked it out and I found out like, because I'm used to, from Taylor, I'm used to aggression, you know, damn boss, damn hard ass punches, damn boss. Back to back boss and that aggression. Right? So, but what I found out, he's got a skill set. And that skill set that I haven't been hearing him use lately is wireplay. So I said, Tay Rock's a dangerous opponent. Like, he's got so many skill sets. And when he comes back and he starts using more wireplay to go along with the, 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 the punches. The, the lyricism and the aggression. This opponent is going to be in for a long night. Trust me. Tay Rock's coming back not to play any games. He's going to come back cooking. His back's up against the wall. He ain't got no choice but to come back cooking. He knows people's going to be shooting at him. Especially with the chain situation. Guys are going to come at him and use that as an angle. He knows that. So he knows he's got to come back cooking. But nevertheless... Comment and subscribe.
I greatly appreciate that. We'll get in talk, right? But anyway, look, once again, shout out to ARP, to Rip Breed Entertainment, because the Up Footy Challenge, the Publicly Challenge and Smack, they're looking forward to this. And I'm looking forward to this too. And I'm looking forward to the Rip Breed event to get back on the 29th. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for listening, tuning in. See the chat, right? Bermuda. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to all my viewers.